Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the Foolish Fish Esoteric News with your weekly updates on the worlds of esoteric and occult book publishing and arts and events and paraphernalia. And thank you very much once again to MiskatonicBooks.com for sponsoring the show. MiskatonicBooks.com is your number one international purveyor of difficult to find books, whether you're in the US and you're trying to get books that have been published outside of the US and you don't want to uh, pay for those very high shipping fees. MiskatonicBooks.com have your back. And uh, wherever you are in the world, if you're looking for a book that has been out of print for a very, very long time, and maybe they're going for incredibly high prices uh, elsewhere on eBay and so on and so forth, or uh, maybe they're just completely difficult to find or completely impossible to find, then MiskatonicBooks.com is most likely to be the place uh, uh, where you're going to find them in the end, uh, most likely to be the place to be able to get their hands on uh, that particular gem book for you and uh, just get it to you as quickly as possible for the most reasonable price possible. Uh, and I really recommend, or as always, subscribing to uh, or signing up to Miskatonic Books uh, uh, Facebook page so that you get uh, regular updates on what is latest and greatest in the world of esoteric and occult book publishing. There we are. Um, let's uh, check out the news for this week. First of all, of course, there is just one week left uh, just in, in fact a little bit less than a week left at the time of recording so probably by the time many of you are watching there's just a few days left uh, of the Semesilam Kickstarter campaign uh, alongside the EL uh, paperback edition um, which are being yeah um, uh, published by uh, Anathema Publishing and uh, they, they've smashed through the, 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 the minimum uh, goal, of course, but um, they're also saying that they are going to be doing a, a giveaway. So every single person who has backed the project at, at any level that gets a that gets a, a reward uh, will every backer, right, independent of chosen reward tier, uh, um, will be entered for this. For this draw to get um, to get some original artwork by Jose Gabriel Alegria Sabogal, like the the original actual um, uh, image that he's painted with his own hands, kind of thing, right? So not a print, but the the actual original. Uh, and they are now saying that there will be a second mystery item. They haven't announced what that's going to be yet, but it's definitely a unique item and it's rather on the pricey side. We'll let you guess for the time being is what they're currently saying. So very, very exciting stuff. But yes, folks, if you uh, have been on the fence and have not been entirely sure whether you want to back this particular one, then uh, this is the last final few days. These are the final few days uh, to do so. All right, let's move on to news from Atramentus Press. So I've talked about Terrors of the Night in the past. Uh, this is the upcoming new book from Atramentus Press uh, by Louise Milne. So essays on art, myth and dreams. And uh, yeah, they're saying that it's going to be the largest that they have produced to date, 392 pages. Uh, we've also got a little look at what the... Um, the the cover is going to look like. I I'm, I I think that's a, a reasonable assumption. It may not be, but uh, but I, I think that's right. Limited to three hundred and thirty three copies, full color print, um, and uh, yeah, you can pick it up by following the, um, the, the 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 link down below. Right, there's the special standard edition and the standard edition. I think the special standard edition is no longer available as for people who had uh, pre-ordered between the 19th and the 31st of January. Uh, so, but, uh, but the regular standard edition is still available uh, at a slightly lower price, actually, uh, for those of you who'd like to pick that up. I'm expecting this to, oh yeah, here we go. Estimated release date, May to June, 2024. This is always very exciting news. Next, we've got news from Hadian Press a uh, yet another um, guide to the underworld pamphlet book right these smaller um, um, sized books uh, a few pages so they're three pounds for the actual hard 
copy, um, just, uh, just like a little leaflet uh, uh, that's stapled together, or you can also buy these usually as uh, PDFs uh, directly through Amazon very often, right? And the new one is called Thai Spirit Cults on shamanism or shamanism, mediumship and spirit, spirit, <laughs> spirit veneration in Thailand. Uh, so this is by Ivy Senna, uh, returning to Hadian Press with the latest uh, guide to the underworld. When one hears the phrase, the magic or Thai occult, the magic, Thai magic or Thai occult, first images that spring to mind tend to be that of amulets. Buddha amulets, Pry amulets, and all sorts of talismans which are habitually romanticized or even fetishized by those interested in Thai magical arts. What is missing from the discussion, discussion regarding Thai magic spirituality is a deeper dive into the various shamanistic interactions between Thai locals and the other, the spirits of the human dead and those who are not human. So there we go. Um, uh, that, that, that looks very exciting, I think. All right, let's move on to news from Watkins Books, who've got uh, two interesting bits of news. First of all, a new, a new book from Watkins uh, Publications, Watkins um, uh, it, actual publishing imprint. Uh, and this is called Paths on the Tree of Wisdom, A Course in 21st Century Kabbalah by Mike Bice or Bace. And uh, yeah, if we just head over to Watkins uh, this website, uh, we can have a quick read of what this is about, an up-to-date and comprehensive guide to Kabbalah, one of the most effective spiritual development systems and uh, mystical traditions that still exist in a complete form. It has developed over centuries to, be, uh, to become a window into the workings of the universe and a way for humanity to integrate with it. Uh, so yes, looking into the various origins uh, of the Kabbalah um, and, uh, and looking at how it's relevant uh, today. The book is full of diagrams and illustrations that enhance the text. The exercises and practical teachings here form a crystal clear course of study for anyone willing to put in the time and change their lives. I think, uh, I think that's Sounds really exciting, really, really cool. And then the second bit of news from Watkins Books is that their lovely tote bags, oh my goodness, they're so nice, like so, so nice. I have two and like they're prized treasures, you know, <laughs> uh, and, uh, and they are now available from their web store. So it was the case until now that you could only get these by visiting Watkins Books in London. And now it seems that, um, yeah, you can pick them up directly from their web store uh, and I'll leave a link to that down below. They're like really high quality hard wearing bags, you know. Uh, very, very cool indeed. There we are. News from Hollyhorn, Hollythorn Press, excuse me. So uh, I guess this isn't necessarily news, but uh, uh, just a look into what's coming soon, right, in the Hollythorn Press esoteric publishers um, uh, catalogue. Just, um, I wonder if it's maybe worth uh, just uh, duplicating this page and hopping over to the shop just to show you what books Hollythorn Press have published in the past, just because uh, you, you may have seen some of these and thought to yourself, yes, but I don't know who's actually published these. Hollythorn Press have done some really, really cool books actually. Um, uh, they focus mostly, though not exclusively, I think, mostly on Dion Fortune and the people who have influenced Dion Fortune. So the people uh, who were her teachers, the people who were her peers, and so on and so forth, right? That's kind of their speciality. And they have, uh, uh, yes, one, two, three books out so far, which have all been of really high quality. Uh, so I did a review of Concerning Witches and Apparitions. Uh, the Mystery of Man, they sent me, but to be honest with you, it was a little bit too meaty for me to be able to read very quickly and do a quick quick review of. I, I didn't want to 
do it a, a disservice. So I haven't reviewed that, but um, but I, I can say that it's really, really good, uh, but you're gonna need a little bit of time to kind of digest it. And it's only available as a paperback, okay? Uh, then there's the Egyptian Rituals of Florence Farr, which they published in three different editions. And this, this, uh, this, this uh, leather, uh, leather bound edition just looks so fresh and beautiful. Uh, I've talked about this one in the past already, and uh, I, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Anyway, that's that's besides the point. The point I just wanted to show you the books that they published in the past. So three to date, and they've got lots, lots planned for 2024. A Path to the Grail by Dion Fortune and Christian Gilson. Uh, uh, so the guide uh, to the master uh, of the Master Jesus originated out of Dion Fortune's wish to form a new kind of Christian worship for adepts, uh, which would become the Church of the Grail. She wore, uh, she wrote liturgical rituals and other papers. Uh, for the Guild, some of which will be published here for the first time, along with informative and thought-provoking complimentary essays by Christian Gilson, who has unrestricted access to all the unpublished Guild materials from the Society of the Inner Light. That sounds really very intriguing to me. Then we've got A History of Irish Magic by Sally North and James North, who are the owners of uh, Hollythorn Press. Very cool sounding stuff, The Labour of Love, a series of linked studies exploring druids, witchcraft, fairies, sacred kinship, um, I, Irish hermeticists, uh, W.B. Yeats and his Celtic order and the uh, Hibernian adept Art O'Murnahan. This study is a first of its kind. Sounds really cool, right? Then there's The Flowering Dusk by Ella Young. Her fascinating autobiography also published once before, 1944, from her respectable but uh, stifling Irish P Presbyterian family to theosophy and mysticism, the sacred land, nature, beings, fairies, then, um, uh, then America in all its splendors, uh, her life with the mystics of uh, Halcyon and the Dunities, excuse me, Dew Knights, a freewheeling community of painters, writers, poets and visionaries, blah, 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 etc. Sounds really cool. The Alchemical Rose, uh, Althea Giles and W.B. Yeats, Glastonbury Abbey by Paul Weston, The Sphere Group. Uh, like, really very, very cool stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for every single one of these. I think, um, I think, I think it's going to be really just a lot of fun uh, and, and very, very informative. Um, yeah, Hollythorn Press. There we go. Keep an eye on that. OK, uh, news from Poland. So those of you who were hoping, the, the Polish <laughs> speaking ones of you who uh, have been looking for a um, uh, the Franz Baden books uh, are going to be happily surprised to know that uh, there is a new translation coming out. There's already been a Polish translation, I believe, um, and this is going to be a new translation that fixes many of the earlier error mistakes, it's, uh, errors and mistakes, etc. And uh, yeah, they are hard covers. So 59's Lotties is around, I don't know, $13, $14. Um, so yeah, that's that's really very, very cool. So the, the three most popular of Franz Baden's books, right? Um, very, very cool indeed, and this is being published through in Indigo <laughs> Books. Um, so that's really, really nice. And maybe Indigo Books, maybe um, just a, um, a a publisher to look out for if you're uh, in a well, if you if you speak Polish, <laughs> if you have access to um, uh, to a, a postal service that is at least linked to uh, the Polish postal service. There we go. Uh, news from Sphere and Sundry. So this is the latest series. It's called Luna, uh, Exalted Luna, excuse me, uh, plus Jupiter. And there's lots of very, very cool stuff as usual. Uh, you know, the, the usual lineup, anointing oils, uh, water, incense, um, uh, uh, so BPAL is um, is that they, they are uh, perfumes, right? Exalted Luna spell soap, Colonia, 
salve, um, skin, hair, beard, oil, the talisman which invariably sells out before these go out to the general public. Uh, you just need to um, become a, a, a member basically at Sphere as Sundry, uh, Sphere and Sundry to know when these uh, are being announced and and lots and lots more. I really recommend going to check out the full the full write-up um, which is yeah invariably a lot of fun to read for its own merits. I mean whether you're intending to buy uh, materia or not, talismanic materia from Sphere or Sundry or not, it's always educational to read the write-ups uh, because they talk about the, the process that goes into creating these talismanic materia and uh, and it's always a, a, a huge amount of fun to read about the kind of um, uh, synchronicities that happen to them the, uh, the the just just the process itself which you know as you can see is invariably just a <laughs> a beautiful process right very photogenic process clearly right there we go okay um so uh, let's move on to news from Jason Miller. So Jason Miller's announced a, uh, a, a one-shot class called Witchcraft of the House of Helios. So Helios is, um, uh, well, uh, the, the sun, of course, the, the titan god uh, um, that is the sun. And uh, Helios features, if I understand correctly, um, uh, is the god that is invoked the most often in the Greco-Egyptian magical papyri, the PGM. And uh, Jason Miller is doing a, 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 a full class on Helios and, uh, and going into a, a proper evocation of or invocation of, of Helios. Uh, as spelled, uh, so um, we'll cover a central practice to connect with and meditate the meditate mediate the power of the titan helios um, spells that call upon the witches circe medea and queen pasiphae as well as magician kings aetes and perses protection of x and the combined powers of helios and hecate the class will be held at 9 p.m eastern time on may the first so you have just a little over a month to have a little think about that um, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm sure that as always, it's going to be a very powerful experience and a, a very interesting class. Good stuff. Uh, and then there's this <laughs> a combined situation that's going on in, in Paris, right? So I want to talk about two aspects of this. First of all, I want to talk about the tarot deck itself. Um, actually, I'll talk about the second, but first, well, maybe well, in combination, I want to talk about this um, this exhibition that is happening in Paris. So this exhibition that is um, uh, based around this tarot deck that I admit I, I didn't know about. And here is the tarot deck itself, the Dreams and Divinities Tarot and Guidebook, which I, I have to admit is just very, very beautiful. <laughs> um, uh, uh, you know, me probably many, if not most of you are probably looking at this going, you didn't know this? You didn't, you, you weren't aware of this deck? But no, I wasn't. It looks really very, very beautiful. Um, and yeah, and so an exhibition of the art of this particular deck is currently happening in Paris. So those of you watching from Paris or the area around Paris or who have easy access to Paris um, may be interested in checking out the um, the exhibition. Looks very beautiful, right? Yeah, so that is happening where exactly? So that opened on 14th of March. Um, so Rue de Savoie in Paris. And what else is happening? 29th of March is a conference, but that's uh, that's actually tomorrow night at the time that I'm recording tonight for the time that most of you are probably watching this at 7 p.m. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure 
Oh no, <laughs> it's actually written here, 31st of March is actually going to be the final day. Um, so you've, yeah, if you're, if you're hearing this and you're in Paris, you've got maybe one or two days left <laughs> to go and check out this, this, um, this uh, exhibition. However, uh, the main thing that I wanted to talk about was the deck itself, of course, which you can buy over here at artworklieber.com. And I'll leave a link to this as well as to everything else that I've talked about today down in the description. There we go. Okay, and finally, the board game that I want to talk about today is a board game that I've talked about in the past or that I've mentioned in the past. And it's called The Veil of Eternity. And I've, I've just received my copy today and I'm kind of excited about it because I've managed to open it up and have a closer look. And um, what's really nice, of, to give you an idea, it's essentially Magic the Gathering where the problem of whoever spent the most money on their deck wins taken out, right? So it's just a standalone game. The cards that you get in the box are all the cards that exist. You know, there's no expansions to, 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 to be, be in a better situation to be able to win, nothing like that. And then you draft your cards at the beginning of the game, right? And then, uh, well, throughout the game, in fact. But the cards that you're drafting, and this is what's so cool about this, is that the cards that you're drafting are, um, uh, they are mythological creatures that fall under the four categories of the four, uh, the four uh, elements. And they're mythological creatures of those four elements from around the world. So it's really, really nice to see, you know, um, just... <laughs> to see what, what counts as a fire creature, right, from, from different traditions, from different locations in the world as well, from, from Shinto, from, uh, from Norse mythology, from Greek mythology, from, from, from everywhere, right? It's just, just very, very cool stuff. Uh, so you're seeing some of the, the, um, the water spirits over here. Uh, uh, then there's uh, air, they're calling it wind, right? And then there's earth over here, and then there's uh, there's fire. Uh, yeah, really very, very cool stuff. And then there's this fifth element, which they're calling the, the dragons, but of course it's um, it's 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 spirit, right? It's uh, it's very, very clearly spirit. Um, and uh, and it's it's nice, it's nice. I can really, really vouch for this game now. And finally, now now that it's finally widely available. Uh, at the time that I was talking about it, it wasn't so so easily available, but um, but now it is, and so you can pick it up um, quite easily wherever, pretty much wherever you are. Uh, there we go. That's that's it for me for today. I hope that you'll have a lovely weekend. I hope that if you're celebrating Easter, then that you have a lovely Easter. Um, uh, and um, yeah, if you'd like to have a one-to-one -one conversation with me, as always, the links are down below to, uh, uh, f yeah, to have a one-hour video chat with me to talk about whatever you'd like to talk about. I can read your tarot, I can uh, uh, give you recommendations on your spiritual path, uh, that kind of thing. And if you'd like to support the channel in general, then, of course, there's a Patreon, which gives you access to the Foolish Fish Discord uh, server, um, uh, where we talk about magic as over 300 different top, uh, topic channels, uh, which is, yeah, really, really fun, really nice. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you very soon with another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.